Have you ever felt like you're being watched but didn't know why? For at least this feeling would lead to a terrifying discovery. She had just gone through a really messy breakup and had to move out. She found a studio apartment on the other side of town, but when she got there, she saw a bunch of things were left behind, including books, clothes, and a long mirror propped up against the wall in front of the bed. But when she called the landlord, he said that the previous renter didn't want them anymore, so Elise put everything in a bag to deal with later. She decided to keep the mirror, though. She went to bed that night and woke up to soft rustling noises. She began to feel uneasy. She looked around and swore that she saw a long shadow move across her room. But maybe it was just the trees. She tried to ignore it, but all through the night, she felt a pair of eyes on her. The next day, she convinced herself she must have just been feeling anxious because it was her first night living alone. But she went to bed again and couldn't sleep. She heard the same rustling noises, opened her eyes, and saw a long shadow was now standing in front of her bed. She turned away for a second to turn the light on, but stumbled, and before she knew it, the shadow was gone. When she woke up, she took the bag of the previous renter's things and decided she didn't want the mirror either. She pushed it out of the way and found behind it was a huge hole that someone had dug to get to her. If you're ever driving late at night, don't do what they did. One night, a boy and his friend were on their way to a school dance when they saw a girl on the side of the road looking lost. They stopped the car and asked if she needed a ride, and she asked him to take her home. They said that they were going to a school dance and asked if she wanted to come too. She agreed. But these boys wouldn't know yet that this girl was not an average hitchhiker. So they all got in the car and the girl sat in the back seat. After a while, the girl would constantly say that she was cold, so one of the boys gave her his jacket. They got to the dance and things were pretty normal. But what happened after would make the boys question reality. When the night was almost over, it was finally time to take the girl home. When they almost arrived, the girl told them where she lived, but told them to drop her off close by so she can walk the rest of the way. So that's what they did. But after the girl walked away, the boy who let her borrow his jacket realized that he never asked for his jacket back. His friend said that they could just come back tomorrow for it. The next morning, they came back expecting to get the jacket and leave, but things were not so simple. They came up to the girl's house and knocked on the door, but they were shocked at what they discovered as soon as the door opened. Follow for part two. If you're ever driving late at night, don't do what they did. Two boys picked up a girl on the side of the road while they were on their way to a school dance. In the car, she kept saying that she was cold, so one of the boys gave her his jacket. But when the night ended and they were about to drop her off, the girl accidentally left with the jacket. So the boys said that they would just come back the next day to get it. But when they came back and knocked on her door, they discovered something that would make them question what is real and what isn't. An old woman opened the door and asked them who they were looking for. After talking to her for a while, it was revealed that the girl they found on the side of the road was her daughter. But the thing is, she had been dead for 12 years. She was killed in a car accident at the same street corner they first saw her. The old woman pointed to a cemetery down the road and said, that's where we buried her. The boys didn't believe her at first. They'd spent the whole night with this girl, so they knew that she had to be real. But they went to the cemetery and saw the boy's jacket draped over a gravestone. And on the gravestone was the girl's name and the date of her death, exactly 12 years ago to the day. Do you know someone who wants to be around you all the time? For one newly married couple, this quickly turned into something more terrifying. So this couple got married and moved into their new house together. Soon the husband noticed that his wife became more attached to him than usual, as in she wouldn't be able to spend one moment away from him. She said, when you're not at home, I still feel you near me. I hear you calling my name. He just thought that she was being sweet, but the truth is not so simple. One day after he got back from work, his wife said, I think there's something wrong with me. You walked from the kitchen to the bedroom and was staring out the window all day. But the husband knew that he was at work all day. Over the next few days she started acting even weirder until one night she was next to her husband and said you're not here you're there you're in the kitchen then they both heard a noise the husband walked into the kitchen to investigate and he saw himself standing there with a blank lifeless expression on his face this man or whoever it was walked out of the kitchen and disappeared into the hallway and as the husband went back into his bedroom to get his wife he heard someone's voice coming from behind him it was his wife's voice only it wasn't and it whispered into his ear we are here to stay forever